Let me show you the picture. In recent news, I know they've been talking about military combat and extremists within the ranks. Um, I do have some issues I want to talk about that I've seen with some of the training I've been through. I mean, let's start with the fact that the FBI and the CIA and CID are going to have a well, CID stands for Criminal Investigation Department, which I'm in the Army, CID, and the NCIS, and all that. Which they have the list of what groups are considered extremists. I mean, there's issues with some of these uh, things. Um, some groups that there's some groups that need to be on the list, and there's some groups that don't probably don't need to be on the list. I mean, let's start with they can put all Trump supporters as extremists if they really wanted to. I mean, I supported Trump, and I'm not going around busting down. Barricades or anything. I'm not extremist. Uh, and as of right now, from what I understand, at one point in time, Biden did not consider Antifa an organization. He was just called in it an idea. Well, these uh, I those ideas actually have groups. Well. Well, as a group, and they have individual factions. You know, and if Biden wants to keep considering a team and an idea, it could not end up as an extremist organization, considered an extremist organization, when it should be. I understand that we need to take care of these extremists to make sure we're not going to have extremists taken over certain aspects of the military and all that. Um, I do have issues with some people in the military that won't be considered an extremist. I mean, I could go on and on about the Tucker Carlson issue. I mean, in my opinion, that officer was kind of out of line. And Tucker Carlson, Carlson may have been over-exaggerating the female thing. But I can't exactly say. I have not heard the full exact speeches on both sides. Um, but my opinion on that one is, um, I don't think pregnant fem females should be anywhere near a combat zone. Because if they're in the middle of a combat zone, we won't have the proper equipment to deliver that baby out in the middle of the field. Now let's go back to the whole training and thing. Next is, I swear this is what it sounded like. They were going to charge people just even for guilty by association. Because some of these groups, some groups of these organizations are not extreme. Extremists. I mean, and they could be just loose, a group loose of supporters for that organization and but they don't do the violent part of the aspect I mean remember I said in one video I actually talked with a group that were some Black Lives Matter supporters I mean they had a nice pleasant civil conversation with them I mean they 
I mean, I was wearing this hat, and they asked if I was in the military. I said yes, and they didn't attack me, didn't do anything. They did not riot. They had permission from the city to be there, and everything was fine. I mean, I did not have a uniform on or anything, because that's against the UCMJ to do that. I just went in there, had a nice conversation, and I'll ask the actually, and I ended up walking down there and realizing they were there. Still decided to have a nice conversation. You can be on different sides of political aisles and still have a nice civil conversation. And it proves that they're not all extremists in these organizations. And I can't co talk about Antifa because it seems like every time they're around, something else happens. I mean, when you do guilty by association, especially if you're start charging them with something in the military, it's a violation of due process. And if someone, if someone says something in an extremist manner, yet on Facebook and the individual is for friends with soldier. If it it's kind of ridiculous to charge the soldier with something this individual says, because this individual they can be friends, and the soldier has no clue what kind of per exactly all of this per this other person's beliefs. Um. Annoying. But that is just the most ridiculous part of that thing. It, I don't get. I mean, it's my commanders, and it seems like what my commander says and all that. Oh, yeah. Back to the video. Um, I mean, this is all coming from the commander and the individual teaching the class. I mean, the commander even said that they have people monitoring our social media stuff, which is kind of scary. Well, it is kind of scary, but kind of not because I'm almost at the end of my contract, so. They think I'm an extremist. Hey, sir, I got something else coming. Um, but I don't think they should be constantly monitoring because it's kind of ridiculous. I mean, If you got something to worry about about a certain individual, then you probably should monitor them. But if they have not shown anything, then why are you constantly monitor? Actually, I don't even post on my personal Facebook page hardly anything anymore. I'm just I don't care anymore, actually, because I get my thoughts and opinions out here, which. I know right now hardly anyone sees, but it's gonna be it's fine by me. Um and this whole guilty by back to the guilty by association. Um this is the thing that gets me about this. A lot of people have this mindset. I mean BLM cops Democrats, Republicans, conservatives, liberals, a lot of people in these groups have the whole guilty by association thinking. I mean, during that whole class, um, 
I try to bring up the fact that not every individual in Black Lives Matter will get violent in riots. I mean, but, and not all cops are crooked or, yeah, I mean, claim to be, or are racist. I mean, let me put it this way you got racist in every category. I mean, you got people that are have something against transgenders. You have some people who have stuff against women. You have stuff people against, who have stuff against men. You have people who get stuff against every single race, every different race that's out there. Um, that's the thing. You can't just judge a group, well, an individual, based off of. Who they support or what who they are around. Because there's actually a remember an individual that I actually got guy that actually wrote a book, I can't remember his name, but he was part of Antifa. He ended up getting out and explaining exactly how that organization is. I don't judge him based off the fact that he was part of Antifa. I based his actions on what he's doing now. I mean, let me put it this way. I have a neighbor that lives near me that he used to be on hard drugs. He, uh, got off of them. Um, but, and, he must, they also must end up having a violent, a crime that would prevent him from keeping a fire, from owning a firearm. But, he was civil. He was, okay. I didn't just stay away from him. I talked with him, um, visited him from time to time. Um,. There is a and then an he was dealing with that uh he believed people were out to harm him. Um and he was scared, he called me up. I went over there and went around his house looking for individuals. Uh it was ap it actually happened to be his mother that showed up at that time. But he is uh was very Friendly towards me. Um, let's see where else. And now, let's see. If this whole guilty about my association does not end, it's going to lead to a civil war. I mean, you. Even though with these gun these uh gun bills that are going through I mean it's uh could possibly start. I understand people are upset that here in Iowa they're doing a they're wanting to do a uh constitutional carry. A constitutional carry which would so you don't need a permit to carry or a permit to purchase to buy a, a handgun or carry it. But you would still, but I read a, a news article that would just said they would not require those. But it didn't say they, that they, they would still require, I mean, I went through the, the article. It did in the article state that they would still, the bill would still require where individuals to get a background check done before they could actually purchase the firearm. So that's fine with me, but I'm a little more uh, irritated with the uh, whole trying to ban everything they consider an assault weapon because the way that bill is written, it considers everything an assault weapon pretty much. 
between my handgun I could carry takes 14 rounds. They would consider that an assault weapon. There's no other way I could put any other type of rounds, uh, other type of magazines in there that would take less. Because the way it's designed, it's going to have to have 14 rounds in it. Um, ARs, um, they have always been coming after those. Um, but I don't, most people don't want people having these because they think it's scary and they seem to be used, people think they even be used in mass murder and shootings quite often. Well, here's the thing. Because if you just, because you find a gun scary, you, you think it should be banned. You should keep that. That's your opinion. But the Constitution actually protects it. Us from uh, those of us who want to own one, it should allow us to own it. I'm not saying we should be allowed to own a rocket launcher or a grenade launcher. Because, let's face it, that's a little more dangerous. I mean, I'm fine with not owning a full auto weapon. But, just because something it's scary to you doesn't mean it's should be banned. Um, and semi-auto fires as fast as you can pull that trigger. And let me tell you about most uh, AR-15. They're all they're mostly five five six or two two three rounds, which are about the size of a twenty two. Give me one second. I got a twenty two right here, and let me pull out a six point five Creedmoor round, which since that's about the closest thing I have. See, here's the size of a twenty two. See, very small. Five five six is about like that. I mean, more shaped like that. That's a little extra thing. But this is six point five three more. It's about twenty point two four. If you look, compare the size of that round. This is a little bigger. I know. I mean, yes. But see, it, if you're talking about it, it's probably rounds only probably about that much long, about that long. I mean. Driving from the bottom of that copper on the 22 up, that is probably about the size of that round. Length of that round. So, that round is not. I mean, there's a lot I could go on and on about. I am, I'm more of a constitutionalist. I support the Constitution. Everyone has a right to the pursuit of happiness. I say to the pursuit. Because you, I, we shouldn't be giving out everyone stuff. The government should not be giving out handouts. The government should be helping us. us. Not, not have people living off of the system because it's what they feel like they have to do. The thing then, fifteen dollars an hour minimum wage. That's just only gonna in the end cause more issues. If you look at the prices of things, each time they've raised the minimum wage. It probably should tell you. And yes, there's inflation even after, even without the minimum wage, but that's a whole different story. But the main cause of some of these inflations have been due to the increase of the minimum wage. Uh, 
Um, I might be doing a uh, nice review of a, a review of a knife I bought off of Amazon. It was only like twenty five bucks, but I figure might as well do that just to see how good of a blade it is and share with you how it is. Because you don't always have to have uh, a handgun to protect your home, but a knife would be handy. It can be handy as well. I mean, I've had this knife for years and. Uh, Two years ago, I broke the tip, so I had to. I ended up grinding it down, it broke the part down, putting a uh, edge on it. I think I was actually using it wrong and didn't put too much torque on it, broke the foot, the tip. But um, I'm gonna do a review on that. Um, got a little portable camera I can take to do that. Um. Hoping once, well, I say something. Once music get better, I might actually get some better equipment for recording. But until then, it's just gonna be this old stuff I have just to record with. Um, and when I do that review, certain parts I will be wearing protective equipment to make sure. In case like the blade shatters, my I'm covered. Because I don't want to get charge of blade stuck in me. Um so until next time, I'm going to be taking care of my family. And Please try not to be stay in, stay in the mindset of guilty by association. It does no one any good.